All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn CSS transforms by building a penguin. Step 15. So to breathe, pardon me, to prevent the mountain from pushing the ground element, we're going to adjust its position to prevent it from taking up space in the page layout. All right. So I don't know if you remember, but I certainly did not when I started uh, this one when I was in rehearsal. So we're going to look up what the position uh, properties values can be. So let's go over here and just say position property CSS like that. We've got W3 schools right here. We'll just click this and we'll just scroll down. And now we've got these property values right here. Static, that's what the default is. Clearly, we're going to have to change it. Uh, and absolutes, what we're going to use. We could read through all these, but let's just save that for a video if we ever make one of those. Uh, so the element is positioned relative to its first positioned ancestor element. Whatever that means, uh, what it really means is... Okay, we can't do that. <laughs> what it really means is we're just going to put it in right here and say position absolutes like that. All right. And you see the square just came down here a little bit. Let's check it. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 16 and we'll see you next time.